Hello everyone, Douglas here, and welcome to my Beatles movie review, and today I will be reviewing A Hard Day's Night. Um, before we do dive into the review, um, I am so sorry for the long delay, um, I actually got busy with work, and I actually later came down with COVID, but I'm doing much better now. This movie is written by Alan Owens, and it is directed by Richard Lester, who would also direct Superman 2. The movie was released on July 6th of 1964 in the United Kingdom, and August 11th of 1964 in the United States. Our opening scene begins, and we hear the soundtrack of A Hard Day's Night, and we see John Lennon, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr getting chased by fangirls, and it's every boy band's worst nightmare. A funny scene I like in the opening is that we see the fangirls rushing by and John, George, and Wingo are pretending to be on the phone in the phone booth, and I find it just so funny. We see all three Beatles getting chased, and we see Paul McCartney in disguised, and we see... His grandpa, John McCartney, played by Wilfred Bramble. We see Paul is reunited with all three Beatles, and they escape the fangirls on a train. We see all four Beatles are on the train with John McCartney. We are introduced to Shake, the Beatles' world manager, and he is played by John Junkin. And we are also introduced to Norm, played by Norman Washington. We find out from Norm that the Beatles are going to be on TV. We see a man comes in, and we see the Beatles start to mess with the guy, and I found that so funny. Another funny scene I like is when we see the Beatles outside of the train and knocking on the window, and that was hilarious. We see two girls, and one of them is Patty Boyd, who is George Harrison's first wife. We find out that they lost John McCartney, and they found him. I love John Lennon's line when he says, Don't worry, son, we'll get you the best lawyer green stamps can buy. We see the Beatles are playing cards, and we hear the song, I Should Have Known Better. We see the train arrives at the station, and, oh no, finger girls! We see that the Beatles must make their way to the car that is waiting for them. We see that the Beatles are at their place, and they are relaxing. We see that the Beatles receive fan mail. We see Ringo receives an invite to a casino, and John McCartney takes it. I like Norm's line when he says, Oh, chatter on, son, chatter on, a touch of the writer's cramp will soon sort you out. We hear, I want to be your man, and we see Ringo and George are dancing. We see John McCartney is gambling, and you might wonder why he took Ringo's letter. We hear the next song, Don't Bother Me, and we see Paul is dancing, and John is hanging out with the girls. And then we hear the next song, Oh My Loving, and we see all four Beatles are having a good time, and they get caught by Norm. I like Ringo's line when he says, Hey, any of you lot put a man in the cupboard? I like Six line when he says, I'm Ringo's sister, and that was just funny. We see John McCartney gets busted by Paul. We see John Lennon is in a bathtub, and he is playing with his toys, which I found so amusing. A funny scene I like is when we see John Lennon goes underwater, and then we see Norm drains the bathtub, and John Lennon is gone. And we see him come in and says, what are you missing around with the boat for? And that was funny, and I was like, how did he get out of the bathtub? We see the Beatles' car arrives at the television studio, and we see them get out of the car, and they use the tent to get in. We see the Beatles are at a press conference, and the funny scene I like is when the people are offering them stuff, and the Beatles don't get anything. Which is so funny. I love the reporter when he asks John Lennon how he found America, and he replied with, Turn left at Greenland. I also like Ringo's line when a reporter is asking him, Are you a nerd or a rocker? And Ringo replies saying, Um, no, I'm a mocker. We see the Beatles explore their set. We see the Beatles 
do their next song, If I Fell. We see the Beatles go out through the fire escape, and our next song is Can't Buy Me Love. During the song of Can't Buy Me Love, I love the scene when we see all of the Beatles goofing off and having a good time. We see there is a play going on, and we see John McCartney is under the stage. And we see him accidentally activated the trap door and crashes the play. I love John Lennon's line when he cuts the measuring tape and he says, I now declare this bridge open. We see the Beatles perform their next song, and I love her. We see some dancers on the stage, and the song we hear on the piano is I'm Happy Just to Dance With You. And the scene I like is Ringo joins in on the drums, and that was a good scene. And the next song is... The song that was playing on the piano. We see that John McCartney manipulates Ringo, and we see him leave the studio. We see John, George, and Paul are going to look for Ringo, and we see Ringo wandering the streets, and we hear this boy playing. Back at the studio, they have 20 minutes till the final run through. We find out that the Beatles are going to be live in 45 minutes, and there is no sign of Ringo. We see John McCartney is handing out free autographs, and he is arrested by the police. We see Ringo is helping a woman by using his coat to cover two hoes, and then by the third hoe, the woman falls in and Ringo is arrested by the police. We see John McCartney makes his way back to the studio, and we see the Beatles are going to get Ringo, and they have 20 minutes left. We see the Beatles got Ringo, and they are getting chased by the police. We see them made it back to the studio, and just in time for their TV performance. A funny scene I like is when we see John McCartney coming up the stage through the trap door, and George just pulls him off the stage. And that was just so funny. We see their TV performance comes to an end, and they made their way to the helicopter, and it flies out with all of the photographs of the Beatles getting dumped out, and that's the end. I will say it's a Beatles classic, and I really enjoyed it. I will say this, I don't think we needed actors to play John, George, Paul, and Ringo, and I think it was fine to play themselves. And to be honest, they are just fun to watch and see them play themselves. And I will say the movie was a parody documentary and it was enjoyable. And there was good comedy in there as well. I think John McCartney, played by Wilfred Bambell, did great playing Pa's grandpa. And you can tell that he is not nice, but he is also funny in the world as well. The Beatles are just fun to watch. The script by Alan Owens is good, and the direction by Richard Lester is great, and there was some fun atmosphere in the movie, and I will give A Hard Day's Night an easy 10 out of 10. So that is my review of A Hard Day's Night, and I will see you next time for my review of the second Beatles movie, Hell. And I will see you all later.